What's up everyone? Today we're going for a bit of a cruise and we're going to talk about one of the quieter bikes in Trek's lineup and that is the Trek Verve. Overall this comes in a variety of models including an electric one which is very similar to the non-electric version except has the electric. So with this it is a hybrid style bike electric or non we'll be comparing the two but realistically it's the same bike either way. It's a hybrid bike which is designed to be upright, comfortable. Some models come with seat post suspensions. All of them come with an adjustable headset piece. So you're able to actually raise that handlebar to a very high upright seating position or a bit lower, faster commuting position. As you push that handlebar forward and tilt it towards the wheel, you're gonna get more pressure over the front wheel, giving you more traction and control of the overall bike therefore being more capable in an off-road kind of gravelly environment or just a faster commuting speed. But bringing it all the way up, you're going to be in a very comfortable upright position. The seat position in it is again very comfortable. It's a very relaxed seat tube angle, so it puts you in this kind of forward position with your legs, sitting you more upright naturally just with that seat position. Combine the two and overall you have a very comfy seating position and you're not going to be uncomfortable realistically in any position with this bike. Comes in a couple frame styles and that is a standard step over or that step through style where they cut away that whole top tube and make it that it's a really easy to get on bike. Women or shorter people definitely prefer the step through style but anyone can ride any. They are not men's and women's specific. There's no other real changes between the bikes apart from that little feature in the frames anyway. All of them are aluminum only. They do not make the Verve electric or non in a carbon version. This one is solely an aluminum frame, lightweight, comfortable. It's designed to kind of go anywhere but not be too aggressive at all. And that's in position, but also in riding ability. Realistically, if you're looking for a more aggressive, faster commuter, get there as fast as possible. You're looking at the FX line. And if you're looking for something a little more off-road, you're looking at the dual sport line. The Verve overall is a very good bike. Part spec wise, they start with disc brakes all the way through, as well a reasonable shifting set on most, most of the entry level models. And that's in the electric and non, it's all fast, reliable. They don't make like an 820 level with rim brakes anymore. It's all faster wheels and faster braking. So these ones are all paired with that 700C rim. So more road worthy, faster rollability, and more importantly, more lightweight than strong. It's not that it's a weak wheel, but mountain bike wheels obviously come with a bit more strength and durability to them. Whereas this one takes a lot of the weight away and that's in every single model is that same 700 c they all come with about a 40 c tire so it's a pretty beefy size tire obviously still fast rollable you're going to be able to cruise along and coast for a long period of time on this style of tire but it's definitely not the smallest fastest one around it's still focusing on comfort and overall smooth riding instead of that fastest speed possible it again comes with the H series tire, changes a little bit between the models, but this is a more high durability model. So it's gonna be putting on the kilometers, less wear and tear to worry about, less chance of flats to worry about because you're able to have a heavier duty tire. And that style of rider isn't looking to be the fastest around. It's still a fast tire. You know, tires only change by minimal amounts, but it works. The grips on pretty much all the models as well are the ergonomic style. This just fits naturally in your hand, fits way better. It has more kind of rest for your whole hand to go on. So there's less chance of numbness and overall just discomfort. A lot of people upgrade to these in the Trek Merlin or similar bike, and that allows you to just be overall way comfier. And it's nice that they all pretty much come with that stock. The seat post suspension is in majority of the models as well. This is just a small amount of cushion which will go into your seat. Um, it's not as effective as a suspension obviously, but it works surprisingly well. For having about two inches of play, it really does make a big difference over those sharp bumps and even just the little stuff which you kind of crack across the little cracks in the road and such. 
it again doesn't work as effective as suspension so if you go in the rougher off-road stuff it's not going to be as effective as bouncing up and down on a trail as a suspension would be it just gets a little of that bite away overall they pair all the models all the electric all the non-electric with part specs that vary from cable disc brakes to hydraulic disc brakes good shifting to really good shifting without going over the budget on any of them none of these models come with anything really over the top or overkill they have designed the verve for someone who wants something very simple very easy to ride very maintenance free obviously you're going to have your standard chain wear and cassette wear but putting on more durable tires putting on comfier grips putting on things which overall will make the bike less of a speedster but more of a comfort basing is exactly what this customer needs you can adjust it uh, hugely like it's honestly shocking it's hard to say how much there is like honestly 45 degrees of play in that handlebar adjustment the seat which comes on it is nice big comfy and has long seat rails to push forward and backwards you can really get to a very comfortable position with this but it's still a fast rolling bike so if you are commuting with it you're still going to get where you want to go at a reasonable pace you know this isn't the fx so you're not going to be cutting and winding through all the traffic and cutting through every shortcut you see and pedaling non-stop this is still a comfort upright bike but it's there to kind of fill the gap between aggressive geometry and comfort cruiser this is the ultimate get around vehicle for in town usage you can dabble in that gravel but the positioning if you set it up too high with a positioned handlebar you're going to be in honestly not the best control for it you can have a lot of your weight back no weight on the front wheel and it could be a little more sketchy than you'd like trek has really filled a really good gap here obviously electra is a comfort cruiser brand they've really weaned away from all of the comfort cruisers and they go more into a specific biking model here with the verve you're still giving an option to be very comfortable and you're still given an option to be very fast so it fits trek's kind of lifestyle brand quite well it gives you that option to be a fast commuter with no worry with durability of tires or anything like that but it's still very comfortable so it could be someone who wants to do a bit of both or just wants that comfortable but a little easier on the distance you know if you compare it to a trek townie or electra townie you're gonna cruise along at a very casual pace no matter how hard you try but the other option to that is the trek fx where you're going to be in a very fast rolling position pretty much non-stop the verve fits right in between there you don't need the suspension for where this is designed to go they make the dual sport for that one you don't need the carbon frame because honestly you just don't for this style of bike i don't think anyone would buy a verve with a carbon frame to shave off a couple extra pounds and make it more compliant and stiff is not where you're looking if you're looking for this bike if you're looking for that look at the fx or the checkpoint you're really in the wrong category anyway i do think that trek makes this as a popular bike for filling that little niche but it's definitely not the most popular bike it has to be here but it definitely doesn't require a whole lot of work or selling whoever wants this is looking for a very specific bike and i think it narrows them down very tightly even more so than someone who's looking to be a little faster in gravel adventure now you have lots of option with the checkpoint or the fx the verve really is for that very specific customer and very specific rider honestly you won't go wrong with it if you're looking to get around town and lightly commute but still be much faster than a cruiser and you won't go wrong with it if you are looking to just cruise around and go very slow but you don't want that cruiser look you will go wrong if you're trying to become a high performance machine except maybe with the electric models obviously being that they can go 30 kilometers an hour that definitely picks up the pace a little bit and picks up the pieces where this may let down but electric is a, a whole different story overall the rest of the bike is the exact same with the electric models they use the bosch motor which is fantastic 500 watt hour battery which is fantastic and you're getting up to 120 plus kilometers on eco mode with this style of geometry frame tires all that combination of things 
hopefully this uh, cleared it up for you. If you're looking at a Trek Verve, it is a very particular bike, but a very good bike. Definitely nothing astounding about it, but definitely nothing underwhelming about it. And that's really what I can explain it as bestly. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Thanks for watching. Good luck.